Hello and welcome in our YouTube channel Metallurgical Facts. So in this video, I will tell you the concept of corrosion penetration rate through one of the numerical. Okay. So first of all, we will try to understand what is the formula used for the calculation of corrosion penetration rate. And after that, I will tell you uh, the important points, important things related to this corrosion penetration rate. Okay. So corrosion penetration rate is basically corrosion rate or the ratio of, or the rate of the material removal of a uh, as a consequences of the chemical action okay so this corrosion penetration rate rate also known as cpr so this cpr may be calculated by the formula cpr is equals to kw by rho a t okay so this is the formula used for calculation of this cpr that is corrosion penetration rate okay and this uh, this is also known as thickness loss of material per unit time this cpr is also known as thickness loss of material per unit time okay so here we will see one by one about these terms so what is this k k is basically constant i will tell you uh, later on about this k and w is so this w is equals to uh, this w is equals to weight loss weight loss writing here weight loss after exposure time t okay so this this w is basically the weight loss after t time okay exposure time t and this rho is density this rho is density a is area area or you can say the exposed specimen area uh, which is responsible for this penetration okay and this k is constant i already told you and this t t is equals to time okay so these are the terms which is used in this formula and this is very simple calculation but one thing we should remember about this formula is that this k is constant and this constant having different values depending on the uh, unit of this cpr okay so this cpr may be calculated into two units suppose if we want to calculate this cpr into mils per year that is mpy so in mils per year what units we should use uh, for this uh, in this formula and what what is what is what is the value of this k in this formula and uh, uh, the other thing is that cpr may also be calculated in mm per year okay so this is mils per year mils is basically nothing but this one mil is equals to 0 0.001 inches okay so this is basically in inches so mils per year if we want to calculate in mils per year if we want to calculate in mm per year what should be the value of k so this is the uh, thing which we should con consider in this formula okay so this k is equals to 534 if we want to calculate this uh, cpr in mils per year and this k will be 87.6 86.87.6 if we want to calculate the cpr in mm per year okay and what about the rest rest things what is what is the unit which is used for other other things so w may be calculated in milligrams that is mg so if we want to calculate this in mils per year we uh, we should use this uh, we should use this unit for different values okay so w is equals to milligrams rho must be in grams per grams per centimeter cube okay and a area will be in inches square okay we cannot change these units because this units is uh, uh, this this k value is dependent on this unit only okay so we should uh, we should not uh, change the units we should take these values while the calculation okay so w must be in milligrams rho must be in grams per centimeter cube a must be in inch inches per square inch inch square and t must be in hours okay so please try to remember these things uh, if we want to calculate in mils per year so we should take this k value as 534 and uh, w we will take in milligrams rho we will take in grams per centimeter cube area we will take in inches per square inches square and and this t must be in hours okay and what about this k when when we will use this k uh, as 87.6 and we want to calculate in mm per mm per year so uh, for that everything will be the same every units will be same just we need to change the unit of area so here we will take area in centimeter square 
okay and rest of the units will be same we cannot change we cannot manipulate the units here we cannot change the units uh, other than this we cannot take the units other than this okay so suppose if we want to change if we want to find the value in mils per year so we need to take area in inches square and if we want to take uh, CPR in mm per year so we need to take this area in centimeter square okay so this is the thing we should consider here in this formula this is this is the point where people do the silly mistakes so please try to understand this concept okay now we will see one more one example for this uh, formula so the question is a piece of corroded steel plate was found in submerged ocean vessel it was estimated that the original area of the plate was 10 inch square okay so the area is given that is area is 10 inch square this is given value and that approximately 2.6 kg had corroded so they have also given the weight loss that is 2.6 kg is here okay and uh, away during the submersion assuming a corrosion penetration rate of 200 mils per year okay so they have given the cpr that is corrosion penetration rate so cpr is also given cpr is 200 mils per year okay so this is the unit which uh, uh, which decides that what should we take as a constant value okay so for this alloy in sea water estimate the time of submersion in years so we need to calculate this time and this must be in years okay so the density of steel is 7.5 9 gram per centimeter cube so rho is also given rho is 7.9 gram per centimeter cube now we will see the formula again what was the formula we uh, we should use for this question so cpr is equals to kw by rho at so whenever you are doing this type of question first of all you should understand you should consider the unit of this cpr what is the unit of this cpr okay so this cpr unit is basically the turning point for this type of question so this uh, this k value is also dependent on this cpr this a the unit of this area is also depend on this cpr okay so cpr here they have given in mils per year so for mils per year i already told you w should be uh, in milligrams okay but in this question they have given w in kgs so so we will change it into the milligrams so 10 to the power 3 that is for grams and again 10 to the power 3 that is for milligrams so this is in milligrams 2.6 into 10 to the power 6 milligram is the weight corroded okay so density is already given so rho is given in gram per centimeter cube unit balancing is very important for this question i am repeating again okay so this area must be in inch square inch square if we are taking uh, cpr in mils per year okay suppose if we will take this cpr in mm per year that that area will be in centimeter square i already told you okay so this is the set unit you cannot change because this k value is dependent on this unit only and time here we will get in hours okay so once we will put the all values here so we will get this time in hours but in this question they are asking the time in years okay so these are the points where people do silly mistakes that's why i choose this question okay so this is in mils per year and the unit is also in inches square so k value must be 534 okay so this k value we will take 534 and the rest of the values is already given that is a value w value cpr and rho so we will put these values here and we will try to find so cpr is 200 k value is 534 okay multiplied by w w is also given that is 2.6 multiplied by 10 to power 6 for calculating in milligrams and rho value is given that is 7.9 multiplied by area area is also given in inches square this is 10 suppose if they will not give in inch square we will change it into inch square from other unit okay because if they will give the unit in mils per year we need to take area in inches square only okay we cannot take this area in a meter square or centimeter square here if we if we want to calculate in mils per year okay so this area is also given so from here we will able to calculate this time so time will be equals to 534 multiplied by 2.6 10 power 6 7.9 10 into 200 okay so from here we will able to calculate this time that is 8787 
3.41 in hours okay so this is in hours but in question they are asking in years okay so how to change this uh, hours in years so we know we will change it like that we will divide it by 365 days which is in one year and in in one day it is 24 hours so that's why we will divide it by these values okay and then we will try to calculate this value so t here we will get approximate 10.03 in years okay so this is very simple calculation only thing we should consider about the units and the constant value that is this k value k value is very important here so t is 10 years in this question t is correct and uh, one more thing i will tell you whenever you are calculating uh, the the cpr in mm per year please try to consider the unit of area also change the k value you can do it in any unit okay as per your convenience okay so don't worry try to practice these type of questions suppose if you are finding any problem in this type of question please try to put those questions on our instagram page i will try to solve those questions okay so this topic is very important for gate metallurgy or any exam which is related to the metallurgical engineering okay sometimes people forget to cover this topic that's why i choose this topic that is cpr corrosion penetration rate thank you guys for your attention hope you have understood this question and hope you have uh, learned something new in this video we will come with more questions in our upcoming videos please try to put your problems on our instagram page we will come we will solve those questions one by one thank you